Hello everybody, my name is Pixel Cheesecake and I'm here with Shala at the helm for this Let's Play, yep. Super VHS. Uh, have you heard of anything about this? Uh, nope. I, uh, you told me you were excited to show me a game. So, uh, just going off the name, what do you think it is? A videotape with Superman powers. That's a good guess. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, the angry video game nerd destroying the stupidity at LJ Ed. Uh, you know, there's, you know how there's like a lot of, uh, like, low reds, old school, uh, horror games with like VHS tapes? Like, uh, Amanda the Adventure? And Poppy's Playtime, and... Yeah, there are a lot of them. Alright, so this one isn't that. It's made on the Unreal Engine. How could it even cross into Uncanny Valley? Hey, look, that VHS didn't fly. Breath of the Wild. Let us know if we should play that next. In Master Mode. So this is actually a Red Letter Media fan game. Oh my god. Let's get into it. Let's hope it does better than that one about the bunch of rednecks. Okay. Fade in. Interior Wisconsin warehouse. Late evening. Player. Age unknown. Hot, but doesn't know it. Steps forward. Can't relate, he said, not knowing if that means he is hot and does know it, or isn't hot and knows it. Player, cool, normal. Guy said they'd be out pitching to Nolan. Guess I got the place to myself. Wind driven snow twists outside the warehouse. The warehouse walls overhead, the AC hums. Cozy, the floor is well kept, but a handful of props ask for closer attention. Well, these VHS tapes aren't going to inspect themselves. Cut to. So this is a... Yep, definitely a Red Letter Media fan game. So, and the task is to find and look at the at 50 uh, VHS tapes. Sounds easy enough. Accompanied by a 185-page book that the author Reverend John Shepard has continually revised the release to 2019. Not easily embarrassed, he's currently predicting the rapture will occur at about 11.45 a.m. on October 2nd, 2027. Finally... Well, if the Mayans can get, the, get it going, they've set up the ch chart and everything. Though I think that was just kind of when the cycle begins and ends. So. so, honestly, I'm just waiting for someone to say the post God of War is the next God of War game is going to take place. All the Greek gods are dead, so the Egyptian and 
Norse gods are going to try and fill the power vacuum, but their versions of Kratos are going to work with our Kratos to wipe them all out. And they'll be the three wise men. Because Norse mythology is just post apocalyptic Christian mythology is just post-apocalyptic North mythology. And you can't even tell me I'm wrong. Okay. But here's a pop quiz hotshot. Name the three names of the three wise kids. Why do you, I work in a place where we have name badges. I'm not good with names. Eh, wrong. It's Melchior, Bathazar, Casper. That's one I know right off the dome. We three shepherds traveled so far. How we wish that we had a car. We can't sleep because with the sheep we travel to yonder star. Sorry. <laughs> and I, uh, I... I drove myself nuts trying to find all the tapes because I would throw them in all of this corner, not realizing There's that this was here. Uh, yeah. The Black Spine tapes were introduced in March 18 as a way uh, to add more randomized suffering to the best of the worst. It was met with near universal acclaim and would later be considered a groundbreaking study in psychological stress and trauma. I can agree to that one. Wouldn't, wouldn't there be tapes over there or I'm just kinda starting in the one starting with the ones in this corner. Ah. Forty seven minutes of of simple walking around type movements designed to provide gentle weight based exercises suitable for any elderly habitat. Appearing in the best of the worst number six, this video nearly killed, killed Jim and Colin. But my grandmother watches it every day. The uh, osteoporosis dance for the listeners. Why wouldn't they be watching? This is really invigorating stuff. Uh, I see to listen to a bunch of Flips plays as well. Uh, yeah, to be fair. And the best of the worst set. Yep. Got a real misfortune. Wouldn't you love a set like this? Uh, we're gonna, it'd be a lot of fun to have a set. Uh, what aesthetic would you want your set to have? I told you I wanted to set up like a what's basically a nerd mall, but with different areas. Uh, what uh, aesthetic? Each area would have a different aesthetic, but there'd be the entrance center in the middle with all the vending machines. The, the the video game section would have the vaporwave what lighting kind of aesthetic like the bisexual lighting yeah the board gaming area will have the chair the chairs around the table with the lights controlled by the DM so when the light turns red, roll for initiative. The social board games would have like a mini bar close by with a couple statues around the area. Maybe a, a couple of the Elder Gods, you know, that fun stuff. 
and the other final corner will have like a craft room so no one would be bothered with they could just pop in their headphones and listen to whatever they were doing as with colors in front of their work areas green yellow and red green means come talk to me about my methods yellow means only approach me if I wave you over. Red means don't approach me. Yeah. Looks like you found another VHS tape. Yeah. Star Wars Holiday Special. A variety hour type TV special about the various activities of Chewbacca's families during Life Day. It aired only one time and was met with instant and extreme disapproval. So naturally, you can watch some of it on Flickr's TV. Everyone, everyone's favorite Mark Hamill appearance. And made Mandalorian more canon. Because that's, that's the, um, that's the first appearance of Boba Fett, right? And he's riding a big beast. Can you teach me to ride this? And later he said, I've ridden it bigger. So, a, full, a baby Rancor, he rode into battle. So, that was fun. Undefeatable starring Cynthia Rockrock. Rock Rock. A below average punch on movie. Somewhat redeemed by Cynthia Rothrock, world champion puncher and five-time black belt holder, and the slippery, sweaty, shirtless dudes who grapple each other at the end. Dis despite what the main actress wanted, she re refused dick. The director refused dick punches. The jar. The mildly interesting score is created by is credited to Obscure Size, which was actually the director and cinematographer. Allegedly, most of the scenes were shot with only one take, and its film is easily one of the worst ever featured on Best of the Worst. Honestly, I. I once had a D and D player mm -hmm. who used the jar as their character. Yep. Used that chair, used that jar to talk and such, and had the what they were controlling. Yeah. The body that moved them around yeah. until this jar sacrificed itself to take control of this giant mechanical city-sized spider to ride into battle and then we got a centaur who was supposedly working with the villain so my angel monk got cursed to with stupidity for a couple sessions yes but what if we put an anime figure into the jar. It was more like a slime though. That wouldn't change anything. I know where you're going with this and for YouTube nonsense. Cursed or... with internet knowledge. Wizard the Vigilante. You gotta have some Cheops on hand if you watch this SHV the shoe joint. I guess it's SHV joint. Steve rails back with Go On to start in, start in Nuki 1987. I don't think this is an actual movie. It is. Honestly. I feel like the DC Universe could have picked this up, because before Batman, there was a 
magic based superhero, the father of Zaytana. He taught Batman escape artistry and defense against magic in the comics later on as a flashback, so early in his career before he trained with Raza Gold. Wasn't there uh, that one movie that was like the not Doctor Strange. He, that was that. Wait, did another tape just appear? Or am I losing it? I was like Stone Cold. Michael Douglas was ex ex and I'd be doing that a lot. Executive producer on this movie, but requested no credit. Budget twenty-five million. Gross nine million. Appears in Cornetto number ten, where it easily won best of the worst. Oh, that was behind the other one. Yeah. Twisted paper. The guy in the fake beard is played by Neil Breen the whole time. You can watch some clips on Plinkett's TV. A sequel is confirmed to be in development for some reason. The pair gets untwisted. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make the obvious joke there. Yeah. Tree stand safety. Over an hour of gentle elderly narration about how to safely climb trees and shoot defenseless animals from your strange hammock chair thing appeared all the way back in We're of the Worst number three in 2013. Now remember, children, if the, the only legal way to shoot an animal is to say it's coming right for us. Look, kids, that's a duckbill platypus. It's coming right for us. <laughs> for any of those who don't know, that was a South Park reference. Surviving Edge Weapons. The winner from Real the Worst number 16 demonstrates why only loggers, pilots, roofers, truckers, farmers, steelworkers, garbage collectors, nurses, etc. have more. Dangerous jobs than cops. One of all one of the all time greats. You wanna know the most dangerous work though? Retail workers. Uh there's this one story I that I heard where uh a retail, retail worker uh, told a guy to like put on a mask. And he decided to gouge her eyes out. Exactly. And one of her eyes were south of Jewel, but that's more of a silver lining than a happy outcome. Happy Honestly, the she couldn't see out of that eye, but she wound up with a different color eye. Free heterochromia for telling someone to put a mask on. Like some, like she got like a transplant. Yes. Ah. Not worth it in my opinion, but. Yeah, I don't imagine getting your uh, your eyes gouged out would be any way like comparable to a day at the spa. Top slots, spotting the best. High energy lost after high after loss until the production can't afford to continue. Jimmy would later release Advanced Crafts and Secrets of Winning in Vegas 12 Hours. Also, don't buy top slots on Amazon unless you want a cookbook instead. 
That is good advice. That someone probably ignored. Yeah. Want me to read this one? Yeah. Okay. Claim to be the first Canadian Super 8 Core Shocker to commercially released on VHS. The audio alone will give you drain damage. One of the worst movies of all time, and according to the editor, the worst experience of his life. But he took the paycheck happily. Another silver lining. Look at some of the views. A well balanced Indian Pale Ale, 6.7 ABV, blue loop. I think they actually do like the beers around the state. States. I'm right through the wall. We can't afford to make things shatter. A cast condition farmhouse sale. 8, 4.8 ABV. And only available locally. The new Glarus Brewing Company. Founded in New Glarus, Wisconsin in 1993. Two years before I was born, so happy 30th birthday, I guess. And what? Well, that's new. Witchcraft. We don't know about the moon. Blue Moon, Kentucky. A Belgian style wheat beer, 4.0 ABV, launched in 1995 and brewed by Miller Often served with a slice of orange. I swear these things can shatter. High quality bottle opener, possibly no longer available for purchase. Hmm. Depends. Plus, the first rare item we work with to prevent hand rollers. Unlike the real deal, these are unbreakable. We'll see about that. Where'd it go? I think it just clipped to the floor. Yeah, probably. Any more videotapes? Let's see. Yeah, there's a whole bunch more. Oh. Might have to give that to my players. Let's see. Oh, I see what you're doing. Fun. When the Plinketo, Plinketo board was first reviewed, Best of the Worst, Plinketo number 1, April 16, it was missing the catch area above the tapes, and a hockey puck was used instead of a ball. Could you imagine how, how messed up some of the videotapes must have gotten then? That would be choice. Pick a hard ticket to Hawaii. Get this tape down here. War Mania. Mary Applehoff wrote, wrote the seminal book on composting in 1982 and also was an expert, an expert swimmer and photographer. This video was the product of a National Science Foundation grant. Who famously love hot worm on worm action. As can be said for most guys in Columbus, Ohio, certain neighborhoods of Philadelphia, and of course, San Francisco. Larry Tree. 
Mother word. Mary Trelawney was the first ever wrote the first ever book on moral mushrooms in 1984 and built the first ever facility to grow them indoors. He died in 19 in 2003 following a mushroom hunting expedition in which his ATV became tangled in vines. One of Mario's favorite movies because he found the mother load. I'm proud of myself for that one. I don't care. Tostinos. Each box contains 12 packs and 300 delicious pepperoni pizza rolls. Total per total. Perfect for any pepper. You say USDA expected and pass $56.95 with free shipping, 10,500 calories. Please keep frozen unless eating. Do not throw. Expires April 2015. Darn it. Uh, we just missed it. Only if you're a coward. SOS. This is propaganda for the religious cult, currently known as the Family International. Most of the music was written in part by Jeremy Spencer, who joined after leaving Fleetwood Mac in 1971. This cult pioneered sexual abuse as evangelism, though through a practice known as... Flirty fishing. Yeet. Yeah. This model was made by Jim. Jim and Colin for the film Space Cop 2016. The design was inspired by the original New York International JFK Airport and the ring in at the top is made from an from an Indiana Jones DVD. Nice. The DVD question. Mm. Yep. So I'm pretty sure it's Crystal Soul. As a mark of respect between filmmakers, the inner person of this DVD was carefully cut out and used as a way atop the Space Cop HQ model. It is preserved here as the garbage bin is currently is full. Only full. You know what button this is? Uh, a remodeled easy button. It's the wobble button. Future Force! Future Force. Nice. There's a uh, which used to have a uh, videos where he would uh, do like let's plays stuff. Yep. So these are the sports. Wait, the what do those two characters have in common? Mario and Samus Aran. I feel it. The I feel like you're going for something beyond the obvious. So. Being, of both being Nintendo characters. Yes. They both have a similar person in common. They're both Italian. No. Does Shigeo Miyamoto? You know how most anime characters have a female voice actor because finding a female voice actor is easy. Yeah. So they both have the same Japanese voice actor? No, they both have the same voice actor. Mario's voice actor is also Samus Aran's. That sounds 
uh, he announced the whole thing was announced when he showed off the Amiibos for the first time. Uh, well, Samus doesn't really do that much talking outside of that one game. And it could have gone so much better. Rube released that game with modern graphics. Modern technology. Hell. Fix up your VR system a little bit, and you've got your perfect S Samus game. You aim with one side, move around with the other, shoot the different... shoot, lock on and shoot, and then switch your weapons. Nice missiles, standard blast, hold to charge up blast, and scan with a certain button on the other side. Big scan to see what you haven't scanned yet. Scan a very specific item and get the true ending by scanning everything on that planet. Anyway, RLM R, R, Labs, Space Cop 2, faster, more intense, reboot, keep hitting those hormones. Apparently, a cat that which doodled, yep. and a folding table. Do fix Wapu button. More commentary tracks? Yeah. Okay. Law enforcement guides to satanic cults. A product of the satanic panic. Mass hysteria of the 90s. Two of the worst kinds of guys. Cops and priests to, come together to make a video that actually rocks pretty hard. The director has a legitimate career and is still working today. As we were in the, the real of the worst level six, Colin would later develop a severe osteoporosis, but thanks to the miracle of modern dance based therapies, he continues body wrapping to this day. And as you can see, it's been a uh, altered to have his face. Yep. No, honestly, those things were cool. Did you know that certain companies are making those to work with your feet and legs for the quest? The Soji Tabuchi Show. In 1990, Soji Tabuchi brought his own 2000 seat uh, theater in Branson, Missouri, and has performed his country polka gospel rap Cajun violin show twice every day since. Dead nearly ever since. First appeared on The Wheel in episode 5 and was finally selected. So 16. Fun fact, the Cajun violin oh, works well in Texas, because if you want to play in Texas, you gotta have a fiddle in the band. Radio Galaxy. A loud, active. Radio Loud, Loud, Active Galaxies. There's no way for me to control the scrolling. Galaxies emit radio waves far beyond their visible structures. They can be detected over very long distances, making them useful as galactic signposts. Only Starcadian knows what this means for sure. See also Sunset Blood 2013, Midnight Signals 2017, and Freak Night 2019. No wonder why the Tums box is empty. 
Tums. Extra strength Tums contains 33 more percent more acid fo- acid fighting power per tablet. Compared to extra strength, relieves pain associated with heartburn, indigestion, and being terribly wrong on the internet. Oh, that last one can't be true. He's sitting right here. Creating Rem Lazar, one of the three entries in the Best of the Worst Hall of Fame, along with surviving Edge Weapons of 1988 and Cameron Mitchell, the writer-director Scott, Scott Zachary will go to a vet web series as a concept in 1994, 1995, and lead actor Jack McCauley would eventually star in a Snickers commercial. Later, no, later, going to give birth to Macaulay Culkin and... Wait, wrong Macaulay, never mind. Shockma! Shockma is played by a baboon named Typhoon, who also starred in The Fly, 1986. For the freakout scenes, apparently a trainer would stand on the other side of a door and whisper his name which caused him to fly into an uncontrollable rage. I hear my handler, but I don't see it. A custom prop made for the, for the Half in the Bag intro shot. The original three bottles were auctioned off into private hands in 2013, despite significant public pressure to place them in the Smithsonian instead. I'd be down for them to go into the Smithsonian, but... Yeah, this is very good. This is uh, one of the best ones. It's... They make flasks this big, and you can just buy one. No one can stop you, and it's not even illegal. Included in the box, one flask, one blue vest, one sadness, appears in... Best of the Worst, Future War, The Jar, and The Fire. See also, Acetone. As it's, this is also really good because it has its own music sting. Nice. I think I might buy a flask that big. I carry around three water bottles with me, just for the sake of staying hydrated. I told you what I named him, right? Yep. You want to tell the listeners? Eeny, meeny, and miny. I think if I bought that a flask that size, I'd name it Fred. Why Fred? Because I don't want to carry no mo. Acetone, the other big flask. You just got to wash it out real good. An organic compound... The formula C something C H three twenty acetone is a colorless, highly volatile flammable liquid, mainly used to dissolve VHS copies of the jar. Remember, always wear one safety goggles and two rubbly gloves. See also giant glass. I still have a copy of the jar, just because. Space Cop. This is RLM's sixth feature, feature film, and it literally took 12 years to make. Unfairly considered intentionally bad, this film is more of a straightforward com- comedy in the style of the group, and people should lay off it. Movies are hard, man. It's, uh, it's funny because I... It's so easy to criticize, but so difficult to create. The, it's funny because I, I learned of this game because I played it. Uh, Rich and uh, Mike played it. And uh, Rich says that it's 
you know, after all the shit they get to, you know, different movies, it's fine. It's a they're fine if we, you know, they if you rip into their movie. Honestly, I think Red Letter Media and Cinemassacre should do a movie together. You know who Cinemassacre is, right? Yeah, that's uh, AVGN. Yes. Now, showing... I was... I was hoping to get a Joe Mama joke in, but... What did it land on? Uh, how to have cyber sex on the internet. Uh, that one's uh, somewhere around here. So uh, on the top shelf of the other thing. Oh, not this one. Rotor. In the film, robot officer tactical operations research. Is portrayed as a project of the Dallas Police Force. In 2016, Dallas Police would become, would indeed become the first U.S. law agency to kill a suspect with a robot. Something like that happens this year in Austin, but in reverse. A self-driving car. Did ran over a helper robot <laughs> for some reason. That's how the war of, of robots starts. These are Mr. Plunkett's pills, but the prescription is clearly made out to which Evans. Boy, I hope I get. Boy, I hope I get fired for that blunder. What <laughs> happens? Uh, Four fifty-six Main Street, any town, U.S. What's one, your one, diabetes one. medicine? My four woman diabetes. Diabetics. No refills. Doctor alterations. Doctor. Required. Used before 9-11. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Clip through the floor. Manners. Who needs them? The Manners Cafe song in this educational bid was actually written by the Red Hot Chili Peppers in the late 80s. But due to heroic levels of drug use, they have no memory of doing so. That $5 purchase was worth it. The feature to cop on cop violence. Jim Maxwell's reading of the title is seared into countless minds. Experience it for yourself in the storage room. Only to be do done better in by means of Robocop or Judge Dredd. That's probably the reason they even made the movie. Yeah, the Judge Dredd comics were big during that time. I would have used a actor who didn't know how to act, though. But that would be me. Writer, director, star, Y.K. Kim had, had never made a film before this and financed this movie personally. But mortgaging is... Kwando School. It took 25 years for the film to take hold, and now it's considered one of the best bad movies of all time. Honestly, that is a good movie. Like, if you want a nice airtime on that, like, dang. Going for, going for uh, all the way across the court. All the way. In Victory Town, 
all the way. Feels good to be a winner every now and then. Ishtar. These men are pawns. Go watch the trailer on Plunkett's TV. Charles Gar Garden is in this. He's also known as the namesake for the incredible song from Patriot TV 2015, which you should immediately watch if you haven't already. Yeetus deletus. Dieetus. Midnight Signal. Signals. A sequel to both Blood Su Sunset Blood 2013 and Freak Night 2019. The full story has yet to be revealed, but more clues may be contained in Radio Galaxy 2021. Honestly, I think the it's going to be the same premise as the horror film that came out called Nope. Predicting it now. Get him. You Get can him. watch the full hit song, Sim Shimmy Slide, as sung by the creep who also wrote and directed this film on Click It's TV, also known as Champagne and Bullets. Honestly, if I was a uh, making movies and whatnot, I'd probably make trash like this too. You call it campy and pay off a couple people to say it's transformative John Waters. 20th, 20th anniversary Jericho Follies. This whole tape is on YouTube if you like. It seems like elderly pe people are singing and like comedy. It seems which, like, which is fine. I expected a, more from elderly, amateur elderly people. Jay Bauman. Kitten, commotion. Cats are extremely underrated. The wheel chose this video twice. I haven't seen it, but I'm sure it's great. Features 30 minutes, 1.3, 1, 1, color, sound, incredible computer animations, and informative cat facts. This is the YouTube, uh, Grandma, get your grandkids, and we're gonna sit you down in front of a camera, and you're gonna tell us everything you know about cats. We only have tape for 30 minutes, so let's go, go, go. <laughs> That's the uh, YouTube cat video of, it day, of its day. Hey, and with Leo, fans get a chance to see the real behind the scenes of DiCaprio. Out in the town, and on the prowl with his cat pack friends. Sneaky cat came with his father's superstar all over the place. Real psycho shit. Honestly, did you hear Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio got falsely accused of what Johnny Depp got falsely accused of by his current girlfriend? That girlfriend's becoming the new Amber Heard. Pretty pink quick. Well, I thought she just, uh, you know, broke up with her because she turned 25. Nah, it... nah it's mostly the false accusations. Everyone's leaning on her for that. Like, oh, you're 25, you're called product. Our ticket to Hawaii, one of the rare V movies that is fun enough to actually watch. 
you would see some of the best moments on Clinkett's TV. There was actually a phone phone case I saw with a scene from that, but they put it on the wrong side. Yeah. Where he's holding the rocket launcher, you see the rocket launcher instead of the cameras. The cameras were on the other side. Idiots swapped it around. Kids sand airbags. Ah, airbags. Truly safety equipment for a more civilized age. There is no reason not to provide them for kids. I don't know who this is for or why. The Mark Zuckerbergs of the world who who try to not blink sideways in public. Was that too mean? I mean, I don't care, but... Yeah. I don't care either. Good. Little, Little Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Ruthless jogger, loggers want to take out Little Bigfoot and his family, leading to some excellent Jack and it Jeffs. The credits that dedicate this film to the supreme being. They took some of the puppets, full body puppets, and made the country bears. Hey, whatever boats people's floats. Mac and me. The original ending has Eric being shot by the cops. He survives and is killed moments later in, a, in an explosion. The film then ends with a text. We'll be back. Unfortunately, Mac died on the way to his home planet, so no sequel was ever made. Ah, uh, well. At least we've still got Sam and Max. The year's 2005, there's a game coming out, they're in 3D now, and... Wait a second. It's cancelled. No. That villain looks super interesting too. Yeah, Mac and Me is one of the uh, plenty of movies that were trying to be ET ripoffs. Yep. Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't made a movie about Golden Shit. Low Blow. Everyone's favorite type of move in a fight. Written by, by starring Leo Fong, who had a career spanning five decades, he was still acting in action films in his 90s, and he passed away on 18th February 2022 at 93. Rest in peace. Uh, one thing I realized that I uh, had said is what my uh, film said. Uh, Did you see that? Yeah, that, that happens sometimes. It just heated itself through. It blew skidoo. It yeah. blew skidoo. We can too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And according to the guys, this area is more cluttered with wardrobe and, wardrobe and stuff. Yep. But, uh, yeah, so my, uh, Do you blame them, though? Yeah, I mean, they said this, uh, this, like, whole thing was very accurate, minus, like, clutter and stuff that doesn't usually make it off camera. Given what the camera sees and what was shown, they did remarkably well. Might actually have to binge watch it. Just next chance I get it. But I have nothing else to do. Or I just get extremely depressed. You know. I'm just gonna be binge watching just cause. 
anyway, so my uh, my aesthetic for my film uh, set would be uh, you remember there's a uh, videos uh, Bruno Moose did, yeah, where he was uh, like watching old VHSs. Just uh, go for it, like a, a prisoner setup where I uh, have to do streams and, of uh, video games and whatnot. And you just, like, before the. You yeah, have, like, a. Like, when the stream starts up, there's, like, let's say, like, 10 seconds. Video or like me from like a high angle and just doing something, and then like the stream starts up, and I'm like, oh, and yeah, I guess it's that time. And then, you know, move on to the recorder to play the game, <laughs> and then the, the, the stream ends, and it's like the, the same angle from the beginning. Okay, yeah, like, you'll. Just like lying down, defeated. Yeah, uh, you'll want you'll want to stream Hollow Knight on on Steel Soul mode and keep going till we kick the ass of the absolute radiance, wouldn't you? Let's see. I think that's the ones in here. here. Well, these ones don't count. It's all only VHSs. I can imagine. So. The uh, lightning fast v VCR repair. Yep. And exploding vomits, part one. Seriously, fuck this tape. The people who made it suck. Jesus Christ. For some reason, they made a part two. Ooh. Hey, what happens if you heat it straight up? I don't think much will happen. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. I don't think this game was... I think all of this is enough. It doesn't have to, you know, have a... It exploding Romans explode midair. Fun Easter egg for the next build. Yeah. Deadly Prey, another entry in the long line of Man Hunts Man slash Most Dangerous Game Style Stories. A sequel, The Deadliest Prey, was released in 2013. Nice. Let's see. Cannibal Airlines. The uh, in-flight meal is you. This, this tape can be seen in 10 cold Cloverfield Lane, but the movie itself only exists in the mind of Ralph Scrab, Scud the D Disposable Assassin, Wizard Vigilante, Monster House, and Shark Hotel. Remember the our No Snake Hotel Let's Play? I paired it up with Man from the Window. I think that was a good combination, but I'm not sure. Uh, how to have sex? How to have cyber sex on the internet? You can find this full hour long tape on archive.org. Might be useful for the coming water wars. Well, we'll eventually need to rebuild communications and infrastructure in order to more efficiently harass strangers. Less nefarious forces take take control of that for us. Because no one knows how to prank call properly anymore. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Well, you better go catch it. Ha! <laughs> I 
think the new pioneer in harassment, uh, in the harassment tech will be, uh, sending, uh, threatening slash annoying, uh, NFTs into people's wallets. Ugh. NFTs. They need to die already. Uh, no, I will be a... If I were an artist that sold my art and not just did it for fun, I would sue the person who came up with NFTs yeah. with the help of every other artist I could find. But which, which you think is more uh, uh, groundbreaking and hilarious uh, harassment? Dick pics or pictures of your front door? Taking a dick pic in front of your front door? Yeah, so I see the synergy there. And feeding it through the mail slot or near the door. Who's taking a picture with a well, who's taking a picture with film? No one takes a picture with film anymore. Oh shit. And if your dick's already through the mail slot, you might as well just pee. Nah, just leave a sign that says, let your dogs poop here, because human bee can be cleaned easily. Dog poop? If dogs start to know to poop there, they will never, ever stop. Safe place to poop? Oh. Double Down, starring, written, and directed by Neil P. A man of incomparable peculiarity whose mind palace is forever inscrutable. A few of the best moments are available on the Flickens TV. I know exactly what I'm doing. Proceeds to fall off the file cabinet. <laughs> Is that, is that where they hide the videotapes? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna drop these, uh, game graphics. Let's drop them all the way down. At least keep motion blur on for the people who have to watch this. I'll put it to mid. I once knew of a, a person who plays D and D. They played a War Forge Bard. You see, they, their character was Midi the War Forge Bard. That's the resolution that'll be what's seen as the screen. Let's drop it down by a lot. Okay, I apparently have no idea what I'm doing with this. But anyway. You're the one who has to edit. Well, I won't be looking too hard at it. You don't edit with your eyes closed, do you? Maybe. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Frost, based on a graphic novel and directed by the guy who wrote Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. In a process similar to how your parents understand the world today, someone in the movie discovers a secret society with a simple Google search. Her name's Faust, and she wrote 
the rope My Little Pony friendship is magic. <laughs> Only she had flown, uh, uh, friendship is witchcraft. California Big Hunks. Wait, there's a difference? California Big Hunks. The filmmakers found RLM's view and had a great time reminiscing about it on Reddit. I spent hours unsuccessfully trying to find the back of it, resulting in the despairing text you see here. Honestly, I think my boyfriend would like this. Shopping. Darlets with guns harass innocent teens in this film, which was shot in a real California mall after hours. I think it might be predictive programming and fear for the future. Nuki. According to Wikipedia and IMDb, the International Friendship Ex Ex Exhibition in North Korea contains, among other things, a laser disc copy of Nuki. However, this is not true. The film is Space Jam 1996 on, on VHS. VHS. Hashtag get your facts straight. Straight? Never. Freak Night. Sam Colwyn is about to wrap a long shift at her family's peach shop until last minute orders swoops in to change her world. Worth watching for the soundtrack, soundtrack alone. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more orders. I'll pay double. Just please do my order. Want me to get these last few. Okay. An ordinary man becomes a vigilante and wages a one-man war against crime. This movie has one of the finest, finest freeze-frame endings of all time. Blood Debt from 1985. Do you know what the uh, freeze-frame is? I can't think of it at the moment. It's the uh, villain getting his head blown up by an RPG. Mind blown. Quite lewd. Thank you for allowing me to set up that joke. Shot on a $500 budget by the Panolia Brothers, this film became a blockbuster's number one independent film rental of 1996 due to the lack of hype around Ronald. Due to the hype around Roland Emmerich's Independence Day. 1996. It, it's extremely terrible. Shot in, uh, I disagree. It's shot in, uh, Philadelphia. Or Pennsylvania, at least. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, yes. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Alright. Did you just thread the needle completely unintentionally? Possibly. So there's one left. Yep. Now that he's the part where we uh, collect them all in one corner of the building. <laughs> Ghost hunting for dummies. Yeah. Uh. 
Save time and money with these professional VS VCR repair techniques. You're gonna learn about Donnelly nut spacing, splay fit flexed brakes, common vent dampers, rim riding hux nut, girder jerseys, vertical patch hampers, and more. I think I. See. I think I still have that book lying around. Ghost hunting for donuts. Dive into the ghostly world of the supernatural sack vagans. Readers will enjoy this fact-based investigation of 100% real and not embarrassing topic. Oh! That scared me. You know what scares me? What? Someone trying to make an unoriginal fart joke. Hey, what's that? This strange artifact catapulted Julia Roberts to superstardom and ended Ellen DeGeneres' career. But nobody know no one knows where it came from or what it means. So this is uh, a picture of young Rich Evans. Nice. Did we hit that one yet or no? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the uh, moral mushrooms one. Oh, that's no, more that's Is it behind the curtain where we originally were? Uh, oh, is it? No, I don't think any of the ones uh, on the floor. And more resolution was the answer all along. <laughs> That'd be a fun challenge. Speed run this in the lowest resolution possible. Yeah. 101 wacky kid jokes. Test 1. Joke. One, Bob, go look in the cage over there. You'll see a ten-foot snake. Maddie, don't try to kill me. I don't. I know snakes don't have feet. Observations: No laughter detected in subject three one a. Increase power to the Higgs Dyson machine. There. Eat. Eat us, delete us. <laughs> We're hoping this auto setting button. That was why it's doing, because I don't. I'm gonna pretend I know. I don't understand what's going on, but I know I'm gonna pretend like I do. Yeah. Ah, so. Oh. Sunset Blood, the first U movie from Starcadian. The story is. Sunset Blood begins with heart and continues in Chinatown. If you'd like to know more, see Midnight Signals 2017, Freak Night 2019, and Radio Galaxy 2021. So the prequel needs the sequels to watch to understand any part of the movie. 
Yes. Oh, like Lion King one and a half. So, yeah. Wait. I think I said that backwards. Possibly. But let's <laughs> move on to this. Ooh. Space cops laser gun. This needs to be made a VR experience, and I'm willing to do it. There's already a VR experience of this. And you didn't think to tell me to sideload it onto my Oculus Quest. Well, I wanted to, uh... To keep the game a, a surprise for you. I have Minecraft downloaded on there, so I, I can handle not opening things. I just haven't had the chance to sit down and play it, or stand up and play it. I would so love to try and take out the Ender Dragon in... Yeah, I'm actually going uh, full screen, turned off recording. That'll be fun to combine together. Well, we c well we touched all the VHS tapes and a lot of the things in the office. If you'd like to see us touch everything in the office, please let us know below in the comments or send us an email. And Shal has been at the helm, and I've been sitting well, next to the microphone. Uh, I haven't even gone on my rampage yet. Ooh, rampage. Go for it. Once I get this, uh, freaking mouse to not do the uh, graphics so big. Down, down, go. That was that was worth the five dollars we I spent to get that. I bought one of those five dollar mouse pads with the bubbles for the wrist to keep the wrist elevated. Money well spent. Yep. Can't get go down to safe settings. That one might have been the mic. Riveting gameplay, I know. More riveting gameplay than No Man's Sky. It should have been called One Man's Lie because he lied about everything he opened his mouth about, but. 
Who's counting at this point? Can't say I know what I'm doing here. I have no idea what's going on, but I know I'm going to pretend to. Insomniac Games Remastered Spider-Man Spider-Man? That was unneeded. I guess fine. I just gotta copy and paste all the videos over from the quest to the computer. Mm -hmm. Should we do it to yours, on to yours or mine? Uh, let's do yours. Alright. I hate A2 for this. It better be worth it. As you know, I want to complete, try and complete that in one sitting because it has the most theme achievements. And then I took out my gun. So, anyways, he started blasting. <laughs> If you get the, uh, the glass of, like, the positive cascade, you all hear the, you know, the cat cry. Nice. It's like I'll, uh, end this, uh, video soon, but there's, uh, two things I want to show. The graphics. The game could let me actually move. Yeah. 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 Yes, I lied. Uh, it was all going well until I started fiddling with the controls and then somehow got worse. Ah, oh, whatever. Play this at somehow not upping this, the frame rate may, doesn't make it any faster. In fact, it might make it slower. Every frame is about 24 tiny frames. Yeah. Wait. We have fun, wait. Huh. That's a thing that just happened. Yep.
in the is a uh, when you uh, play this with the settings set to go, it won't be snowing outside. Nice. I like to think of this as like when you uh, go and uh, find the best weapon in a, a Fallout bunker. Graphics-wise, yeah, I guess we'll sign out now. That's the helmet's been shallow. Yeah, be and this has been another episode of Gaming with Shallow. Feel free to check in on our next video, which is either Silver Case, Killer Seven, or some new thing. Almost. Be seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.